Hey guys, it's Dr. Scott. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over how to use the cervical wedge. So we have two different versions. We have this version and we also have this version. So they're basically the same in application as far as what we're attempting to achieve. So if I recommended or Dr. Leah recommended for you to use a cervical wedge, um, either one of these are gonna be appropriate and they're both gonna achieve basically the same thing. So. Part of the goal, or I should say the main goal, really is to help bring back the cervical curve into the, basically into your cervical neck. So here is um, this one, I'm just gonna talk a little bit more about just because there is a couple different features with this. So when you get this one in the wrapping more or less, it's gonna come all connected in through here. So what you wanna do is you wanna take a serrated knife and you're just gonna slip it in through the little hole in through here, and then you're just gonna cut along the edges in through here. And what you wanna do is separate these pieces off. Because what we want to do is we want to start off with the smallest version unless I already instructed you differently and then you want to start with that size. But start with the smallest version and then what you want to do is you want to keep these pieces, don't throw them away because as your neck improves, as your body improves, you're going to add to these and eventually if it's appropriate we're going to get up to this point here. So next I'm going to show you how to use the cervical wedge and where to place it. Hey guys, it's Dr. Scott again. Um, now I'm going to demonstrate how to use the cervical wedge actually in position. So with the two different pieces, what you, you see is there's kind of a, a longer drop off on this one. And then you can see through here, there's a little bit shorter side through here. You want this side to your shoulders. This side is going to go towards your head. Same thing with this model and through here. This is towards the shoulders. This is towards the head. Where you wanna place it is also crucial as well too. Now, the majority of the people, what, uh, what I want you guys to do is place, place this as low in your neck as you can get. That's where the vast majority of the reverse curves are. If I instructed you differently or if we talked about a little bit different in your report, you wanna place it where I told you, which will be different potentially than what where this video is at. So, now I'm gonna show you kind of where, it, where it's gonna go. So, Stephanie's gonna demonstrate, so we're just gonna get it as low in her shoulders as possible so that way you can see when we take a look in through here this is going to hit the neck and basically start to bring that curve back in through there and what you want to do is you want to start laying on this um, basically start with one minute a day and then go to two minutes the following day work up to five minutes a day and once five minutes becomes easy and where the basically will be easy what I mean is there's no pain then what I want you to do is going up to 10 minutes a day once 10 minutes a day becomes easy then you can go to 20 minutes every other day. And that's something that you're probably gonna to have to do long-term to really help keep that curve in your neck, help bring that basically neck back to where it needs to be. So once this becomes easy too, the next step is we wanna add one of the blocks in through here. So you can see, all you're gonna do is lay this on top and then you're gonna slide it right back into the same position to where it was at. And all that's gonna do is give you more lift. Now the important thing is, is you want to make sure that you're on a firm surface. Typically a bed is going to be too soft and most people unfortunately don't have massage tables. So the best place for you to do is like on an exercise mat on the floor, carpet is okay. Just realize we want to be able to allow this pressure to be able to be applied to the neck. And if the surface is too soft, you're not going to be able to allow that to happen. So uh, for Stephanie, as you can see with her neck in through here, I wouldn't go any higher than just this one additional um, increment in through here. If she were to do two, that would push her neck too far forward because we still want to make sure that we're not forcing the head forward. We want to avoid that. We want to make sure that the neck is able to stay in a neutral position. And that's where this is ultimately going to be and bring that curve back in through here. So this is what's going to be ideal for you know, the average person that's we're seeing in through there. If this is too easy for you, if you don't feel like it's applying pressure, then you definitely want to add in that that second um, basically lift in through there. So if you have questions, definitely ask us at our office.